good people i'm sure you're well uh, for the ck reacts yet again uh today we have a funny video uh, to me this is more hilarious than it would be anything else it's about not about it is 30 seconds i want us to watch it is 30 seconds long <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I know quite a good number of us are seeing a lot of fun. The setting is a wedding. And I'm sure this is after, I may be wrong, uh, and if I am, I don't choose to be right, whatever the case, but uh, this could be after the exchange of uh, vows or consent. And then maybe now they have time to, to make fun and to be happy with each other. The guy seems to be very shy. The girl is quite exploring. She's okay. She wants to kiss the gentleman. But this gentleman, because the way he knows Jesus, he doesn't want to be kissed when everyone is seeing. Now, this is hilarious. But good people. I want to say something that is a bit deeper in this. Eh? As a marriage therapist. There is something so wrong with this. First, allow me to say something. Uh, a fact that I would want you to go and do some research. Did you know... Christians, 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 people who are so deep, deep into religion, we are told most of them, most of them are in what we call sexless marriages or they have the poor sex life. Why? Because in Kenyan language, for them, sex to be a buyer. Ask even those, those of you watching me, Listen to Father C.K. is react. If you, if you meet 10 couples and ask them among the four things that must be thoroughly thrashed before you say, I do, how many of them did all of them? And I'll give you in order of prominence. Number one, sex. Number two, finances. Number three, religion. Number four, friends and in-laws. Most of our couples get married having never discussed sex because sex is bad manners. Yet you are telling us on your wedding night, you want to go and have sex for the first time and you never discussed. So I'm, I'm finding it a bit difficult to convince this couple that they needed some therapy to understand what they expect of each other. Dear Christians and people of goodwill, we must get up and discuss sex openly. There is nothing wrong with the Christians discussing sex openly. This is a cup for goodness sake. So, for all intent and purposes, they need to have discussed this. And that is why maybe later we also need to, 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 to appreciate the fact that moms and dads need, depending on the stages of their children, teach them some sex education. Because if your daughter doesn't know something about her body from you as a mother, then you expose her to vouchers who will teach her and maybe end up taking advantage of her. Dear Christian couples, there is nothing wrong with the kissing. Dear Christian couples, there is nothing wrong by having sex. Very good sex. There is no sex in heaven. It is only here. Have it here. Allah. I am Father CK, just in case.